the Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industries HESA, utility turboprop plane Simorg made made its maiden flight on May 31st, with the aircraft expected to replace the American supplier C-130S that currently form the backbone of the fleet. Iran was a leading client for American military aircraft during the 1970s, but has begun to gradually phase airframes from that era out of service with both indigenous and Russian aircraft being acquired to replace them. The Simorgas first flight took place in the city of Isfahan, and was watched by the Iranian Armed Forces Chief of Staff Mohammad Baghiri. Named after an ancient bird from Persian mythology, the aircraft was first unveiled in mid-2022. It has been reported to have a particularly strong performance in areas including its agility, weight, and cargo capacity and high suitability for Iran's often extreme weather conditions. Local state media described the aircraft as one benefiting from indigenous high-tech materials and is designed in accordance with Iran's climatic conditions as well as international standards and regulations. Speaking regarding the aircraft's significance Personnel Chief Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani stated, given the developments in the region and the threats against the Islamic Republic, aircraft play an important role in the transportation of cargo, and support for the armed forces on battlefields. Development of the Simorg follows the lifting of the last UN restrictions on Iran's arms trade as a result of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action nuclear deal signed in 2015. Which paves the way to Iranian armaments to compete on global markets including the very large market for turboprop transports. These represent among the most widely used types of military aircraft in the world, and service not only with air forces but also with the navies and armies of many countries, some of which have next to no combat aviation capabilities. The aircraft's development follows multiple key achievements in Iranian military aviation, including the successful Khauser lightweight fighter program which entered serial production in late 2018 to provide a replacement to American-supplied F-5 jets. And the widely reported strong performances of Iranian drones used by Russian forces in the Ukrainian theater. Perhaps the greatest success of Iran's military aviation industry has been the development of high-endurance flying wing stealth drones, which are otherwise only fielded by the United States and China and provide highly potent strike and reconnaissance capabilities. Although not combat tested in Ukraine, these aircraft have proven themselves in combat during reconnaissance flights over Israeli territory when they proved highly survivable according to Israeli sources. As a non-combat asset, the Simorg could prove easier to export despite threats of sanctions from Washington on any potential client for Iranian arms under the Countering American Adversaries Through Sanctions Act, since it could be argued that the aircraft is not a strictly defense-related asset. The Simorg may well see civilian use within Iran itself as well as abroad, much like the C-130 has had well over a dozen civil operators. It remains uncertain on what scale the aircraft will be produced, how competitive it is in terms of operational costs compared to overseas rivals, and whether it will see service beyond the Iranian Air Force possibly in the Navy or the Revolutionary Guard Corps.
Designed and developed by a subsidiary of the Iranian Defense Ministry, the craft has been named after an ancient bird of Persian legend, ostensibly possessing great wisdom. Another outstanding feature of the turboprop is said to be compatibility with Iran's weather conditions, rendering it invaluable for enhancing Iran's defensive capabilities. Simorg was first unveiled by authorities a year ago, with images released by the Iranian government. Given the developments in the region and the threats against the Islamic Republic, aircraft play an important role in the transportation of cargo, and support for the armed forces on battlefields, personnel chief Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani was cited as saying at the time. Iranian news agencies stated that the Simorg was equipped with indigenous high-tech materials and is designed in accordance with Iran's climatic conditions as well as international standards and regulations. The successful test of the new aircraft comes as Iranian aviation giant Iran Aviation Industries Organization IAIO, rolled out the production version of the Yasin, a light jet-powered trainer aircraft, earlier in the year. The Defense Minister Mohammad Reza Ashtiani formally launched the mass production of the aircraft at a ceremony.